and Brian, Ian has kind of changed his course just a little bit, right? Yeah, I, Tampa's still going to be affected. Yeah. Large hurricane, powerful hurricane. Uh, but the brunt of this, the eye wall where most of the damage is going to be looking more like Fort Myers now, which is an area I know a lot of snowbirds yeah. up here. A lot of people from here have homes there. From yeah. here, oh, homes yeah. there or have moved there and stuff. Uh, very populated area. Uh, not a good situation for them. Here's the latest uh, track on uh, Ian. Now Category 4 storm. Winds at 140 miles per hour. This could increase still before making landfall later on today. The track again north northeast right across say the Fort Myers area. Eventually even locations inland could see hurricane force winds around Orlando later on tonight and eventually tropical storm force winds can make a second landfall up towards the South Carolina coast. One thing that we're really focusing on is the potential storm surge, which is that wall of water that comes on shore could be 9 to 12 feet across much of southeastern uh, uh, part of the state. Marco Island, Naples could be bad. Sanibel Island could be completely overtaken by water here. I mean, this is extremely dangerous storm surge. If we're talking like 12 feet, this could be extremely deadly. So again, I'm hoping the people down there taking the warnings and the evacuation seriously uh, up towards Fort Myers and up towards Port Charlotte. Still some very dangerous storm surge expected.